Hey everyone, Pastor Ryan here with Albert Lee Assembly of God. Thank you so much for joining us and being a part of our midweek online group. Um, I hope you've been enjoying our study that we have been on our playlist, Notes on the End. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed that and it's been wonderful. Um, we're taking a little break from that this week as uh, Christmas is just around the corner. It is nearly here and we are excited to spend this season together and just have a wonderful time um, with friends and family and with the church community and everything. And so we just hope that it just be a wonderful time for you as well. So Merry Christmas and thank you for being a part of uh, everything that we're doing here. I wanted to just come and just kind of share my heart um, this season and to, to give you all a, a devotional um, this week and to just to be consistent and also to encourage and strengthen you. Uh, this morning, my mind was actually on the Christmas hymn, Joy to the World, which was written by Isaac Watts um, in 1719, and just the amazing hymn that it is. Uh, what's beautiful about this Christian hymn that we, we sing every year uh, in so many different places, um, it's inspired from Psalm 98, and it's an amazing psalm that just, it really honestly just talks about such a, a, a great bit of praise. So, so listen to Psalm 98 right here. It says, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of the melody, with the trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord. For he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with equity. This is an amazing uh, psalm that just comes and brings us. And so we get to see this amazing, joyful expression. Christmas is a wonderful season. It is this uh, a beautiful expression of God's love coming onto this earth in the form of his one and only son. John 3.16 tells us that for God so loved the whole world that he sent his only son, that whomever believes in him shall have everlasting life. Uh, and it's just an amazing uh, verse there that we can choose to place our hope and anchor our lives in Christ Jesus and, and follow him where he leads. And, and it's a beautiful thing. And, and it's a fulfillment of, of uh, millennia of promise, um, years and generations of, of people who have been waiting for a Savior. And we see this arrival in Christ Jesus. And, and every year, every December 25th, we, we lead up to this season where we get to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We get to celebrate the coming of our Savior who, who came in. He came for just fulfilling so many promises, and at the same time, he, he came to remind us of those promises, to show us how great he is. Um, and as he's fulfilling those promises, he's pointing to these amazing other promises. Uh, he came so that we might have the resurrection with, with the, the crucifixion and the things that we, as Christians, we look at for Easter, and uh, just the amazing sacrifice that brings our forgiveness of our sins. And yet, here, and here we are in this amazing fulfillment. But see, the story doesn't end with Christmas. The story doesn't end with Easter. There's still so much more going on. And what's amazing is how when you get to the end of the Gospels and you actually get into the first chapter of the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 1, it says that Jesus, after his resurrection, met with so many people, and then he ascended into heaven. And as he was going into heaven, it says a cloud hid him from their sight. Talking about the disciples watching Christ go. And, and as he goes, the disciples are sitting there just in wonder, looking up at the sky. All of a sudden, these angels, these, these men in linen are right there, and they look at the disciples, and they say, Why are you gazing so intently into the sky? This same Jesus, who you have seen depart, will return again in like manner. 
And so there's a beautiful thing here where we see the promise fulfilled where he would come as, as our Savior, come as an infant, which we celebrate in Christmas. But there's a coming and even greater event where Christ is going to return and take us all home. And what a beautiful gift that will be. What a wonderful event that we get to look forward to and anticipate. Christmas is a wonderful season of anticipation. Uh, our kids are, are anticipating just the, the, the gifts and the joy and the magic of that season. And just the, the, the laughter and the fun of tradition that they all look forward to. And, uh, and it's just a wonderful time together, and, and the, the people look forward to that. And that anticipation builds, and it's the same anticipation that we as believers should have and look forward to when we anticipate the promise that God has for us, the, the promise of his return, that we can have that same excitement about Christ coming again. So we look forward to that as believers. And, and to me, Christmas is that wonderful reminder of that season, and I look forward to that. And I hope that you do as well. And, uh, and so it's just a wonderful time together. Um, one thing about tradition, if you are in the area, Christmas Eve, the 24th, we have got a wonderful candlelight and communion service planned. And so if you're in the area and you're watching this video before then, oh, please make plans to be with us. And, uh, and maybe you missed it out this last year. Well, make plans to be with it in the coming year. And, and it's a beautiful tradition that we like to keep going because it's just a fun means for the family to come together and just to worship the Lord and, uh, and all of that. Thank you so much for your dedication and your heart and just the, the honesty of just wanting to learn more about the Word of God and continuing to deepen your walk with Him. I hope that you have found this very rewarding. We will be with you again shortly uh, when we get through these holidays. The holiday season is always very busy. Um, but more chapters of our study on the end times, our notes on the end, um, more chapters will be forthcoming. In the meantime, I hope that you just wait and sit patient. And uh, we just thank you so much that we can be a part of this time and this season with you. God bless you. Have a wonderful time of this season with friends and family. And we'll see you next time.